Hey, it's Ryan from Hunting Waterfalls. I'm just out of the surf here at the beautiful Port Macquarie. And today I wanna to do a review of the Hydroflask Trail Series, which is their new lightweight series where they're 20 to 25% lighter than the original Hydroflask. I wanna tell you what I think about these, whether I think they're good, what's the difference between the original Hydroflask and the Trail, and do I recommend that you get them? Now I'm gonna be straight up and tell you that this is gonna be a pretty biased review because I absolutely love this product. <laughs> like, it is so good and these have quickly become my go-to water bottles, not just compared to the original Hydro Flask, which I lo absolutely love and have been using for over a year, but just in general. I own all the major brands, Hydro Flask, Yeti, Clean Canteen, you can go on and on and a bunch of generic ones as well. And these ones I love more than anyone. Now, I was lucky enough to partner with Hydroflask Australia. They sent me these out, so just a disclaimer there, but I do own a bunch of Hydroflask products, like this original 32 ounce, I purchased myself, as well as a 12 ounce, 18 ounce. You can go on. I own a lot of different products, but the Trail series is just, ah, oh, I just love it. It's, it's weird to get so excited about a water bottle but when you do this and you review so many, when one takes you by surprise, it just makes you very happy. Now, this one is the 24 ounce trail, which I think the design is as perfect as you can get when it comes to a water bottle. It's just the right size being not too small that you have to refill all the time, but not too big that it's extremely heavy to carry. And it's super lightweight as well. It just doesn't feel like a lot when it's empty. I recently used this when I was traveling on an airplane the thing is, when you're comparing the original Hydro Flask to the Trail, if you own both, there's just really no reason to take the original with you anymore and no reason to take the extra weight. Like, why would I take this one, which weighs 20% more, when I can take this one, which performs exactly the same? I've done ice tests on these and they perform just as well as each other. The 32 ounce were neck and neck down to the line, which one held ice better? And I think in the end, there was not really any difference at all. So why would I take one that is heavier? Now, if you aren't like me, if you don't own multiple, then your question is, okay, which one should I buy? And the downside of the trail is that they are more expensive than the original Hydro Flask. So you're looking at around a five to $10 difference or increase in price in order to get the trail. But I think if you're going to be spending that much money on a water bottle anyway to get a brand like Hydro Flask that has a lifetime warranty, it's a good brand, then why not spend that extra little bit of money to get one that is more lightweight and it's just going to be easier to carry. Something else to consider is the differences in design and color. As you can see here, the Hydro Flask trail is taller and thinner than the original Hydro Flask and the color schemes are different. So the trail series, they've gone all metallic colors. So this one is obsidian, which is a brushed brown sort of color. And then this is their green one, which as you can see is a metallic green compared to the bright green of the original one. So if you prefer the bright colors of the original Hydro Flask, then by all means go for it. Still absolutely love these water bottles, but I actually prefer these. I find them more masculine, a bit more subdued, low key, which is kind of my vibe. So absolutely love it. Ice retention is great. Not the best ice retention out of any water bottle out there. The Clean Canteen I found performed way better. I have a 20 ounce Clean Canteen and that kept up with a 32 ounce Hydro Flask. And if you know anything about ice tests, the bigger the water bottle and the more ice it holds, the longer it's going to hold ice for. So the fact that the Clean Canteen 20 ounce could keep up with a 32 ounce Hydro Flask shows just how good that ice retention is. So if you want the best of the best ice retention, then sure, go for a Clean Canteen or a different brand. But these keep ice more than long enough. Like you're talking two to three days for the 32 ounce. You're talking, you know, one to two days for the 24 ounce. I don't need to keep ice that long. I'll fill it up in the morning. I'll go out. By the time this ice runs out, I've already drunk this water bottle once, twice, three times over. So the ice retention is absolutely more than good enough. Still works really well. When it comes to durability, these ones I do find scratch pretty easily. If you have a look at the bottom of this 24 ounce, you can see that the bottom is just kind of all scratched up, especially from where it goes into the cup holder in my van, which can fill up with a bit of sand and stuff because I'm always on the beach. So if you're looking for something that's not going to scratch, 
not going to look worn, then that might be a reason to stay away from the trail series. But I'm not too worried about it because for me, this is about living. This is about going out and exploring, living life, having a great time. And if my water bottle gets beat up, that just means that I'm using it really well. And so I'm not too fussed about that. You can get the flex boot covers for it. I've done a video on those, which I'll link up down below. That can help protect them if you're really worried about it. Otherwise, there's a bunch of other silicon covers that you can get that will fit these. Other than that, there's not a whole lot to say. Backed by a lifetime warranty, so if you ever have any issues with it, Hydroflask will cover it. I'm actually having some issues with the lid on this one. It's leaking every now and then, so I'm gonna get in contact with Hydroflask, and I know with confidence that they will replace the lid for me free of charge. I might have to send the old lid back to them, but I'm gonna get a fixed lid because there's something wrong with this one, and that's one of the benefits of buying a Hydroflask. Whether you're going to go and get the trail or if you're going to get a regular hydro flask, having that lifetime warranty and knowing that if issues come up, it's just gonna be fixed by contacting customer support because customer support's really good. You're not paying more for longer ice retention because all the insulated water bottles use the same vacuum seal technology. You're paying extra for the brand, you're paying extra for the look. I think these are absolutely sexy and I've had so many people try to take this one off me, the 24 ounce. They're like, Ryan, if you're getting rid of a water bottle because I know you've got so many, send the 24 ounce trail my way. That's my favorite. My dad constantly asks me about it. But yeah, you're paying for that lifetime warranty. You're paying for the customer support. You're paying for the branding and the look and the feel. And when it comes to look and feel, no one really does it better than Hydroflask. I love the fun colors of the original version. I love the brushed metallic, more subdued colors of the trail version. They're all great. I love these. I'm using them all the time. This one, the 24 ounce, is my personal go-to if I'm flying, if I'm going to the gym, going for a walk by myself. The 32 ounce, if I'm going out with the kids and we're all sharing a water bottle, then the 32 ounce trail is coming with us. To be honest, I don't really use my original Hydro Flask much anymore. Every now and then, maybe when this one hasn't been washed or I don't know where it is, I'll pull it out but otherwise I'm always using the trail. So I think that says a lot about it. If you're on the fence, it might come down to price for you. Are you willing to spend the five or $10 more? If you're not, go with the original, or if you like the bright colors, go with the original. But if you're willing to spend that extra little bit more, you like the trail, the way it looks, then absolutely go for it. I highly recommend it. My favorite water bottles on the market at the moment. I'll leave links in the description where you can get them from hydroflask.com, hydroflask.com.au or from Amazon. They're my affiliate links. So if you go through them, a massive thank you. I get a small commission at no extra cost to you. Go ahead, check them out or go ahead and check out the video that I did doing a more in-depth comparison between the original Hydroflask and the Hydroflask Trail Series or check out the ice test to see, okay, which one won and how did they actually perform? Thanks so much for tuning in. And until next time, get out there.